When using CAD-Link Q products such as VPM, Digital Factory, or Filmmaker, you may want to archive jobs so they can be reprinted at a later date. I've imported a job into the queue. We now have options to archive the job with or without the current queue settings. If you want to save the current queue settings, rip the job first and then archive. If you archive the job before it is ripped, it will inherit the queue settings at the time it is restored from archive. We want to save the queue settings by ripping first before archiving. Click on the job, then right-click and rip only. When it's finished, click on the job and click on icon to archive to disk. Or you can right-click on the job and click Save As. You can use the default name or create your own name and click Save. This job has been saved in archives. Restoring the job is quick and simple. From the menu, click Jobs, Restore Jobs. The Restore Jobs ticket window will open to the default archiving folder with a list of jobs you've archived, including the name, creation date, and date archived. There are several icons in this window. Restore Archives, Delete Archives, Choose Different Archive Location, Choose a recent save location, select all items, deselect all items. Select the job that you'd like to restore and click Restore Archive. Click Close. Your job has now been restored to the queue and ready to print. If you've already printed a job and decided to archive from the reserve pane, it will be restored to the reserved job portion of the screen. Before reprinting, you need to drag the job back to the queue. If you'd like to set your own location for archiving jobs, you also have the option to change the archive storage location from the menu. Click Tools, Options, Storage and Archiving, and in the second portion of the screen, click on the dots and browse to the location where you'd like to save. Hit OK and save and close. If you decide to reinstall your software, keep in mind that you should also back up your archive folder before uninstalling to prevent accidental loss of archive jobs.